Right now at 11, a final farewell to a fallen DPD officer. You're looking at live pictures from the Rockwall, from Rockwall where funeral service is just getting underway. A little over two hours ago, the body of Officer Rahelio Santander arrived at Lake Point Church. He is the first Dallas police officer killed in the line of duty since the ambush of July 2016. Well, good morning. We're glad you're with us. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Karen Borda. We've got live team coverage on this somber Tuesday morning with details of the funeral and the procession to follow. We begin with CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren, who's live at Lake Point Church in Rockwall. Jennifer. Good morning, Russ. We anticipated a crowd of thousands of people for the funeral today, and that's really what we're seeing. More than anything, police officers in uniform from across North Texas and beyond here to honor the life of Officer Rogelio Santander. Over the next two hours, we will hear from those who knew him best. Let's take another live look inside Lake Point Church, where the service is about to begin. First off this morning, the choir from Bishop Lynch High School will be singing a cappella. During the funeral procession, Officer Santander's friends and his colleagues from the Northeast substation will also be giving remembrances in his name. It was one week ago today that the officer was killed as he responded to a shoplifting call at a Home Depot store. 27 years old, he was well respected on the force. He is survived by his parents and his younger brother. Hundreds of Dallas police officers are here for the service today, and they are joined by law enforcement from neighboring cities and counties, from Garland to Fort Worth, Midlothian to Denton, and outside of Texas, too. Detroit, Chicago, New York. The NYPD sent a dozen officers, knowing police from North Texas would do the same for them. There is a, definitely uh, an impact that the officers feel throughout the country, and it's being here together as one. Uh, we all have the same. Uh, the same blow. It's a beautiful occasion celebrating your life, but it's bittersweet, of course, because unfortunately you have to die to get it. At the conclusion of the funeral service this afternoon, police will lead a procession to the burial grounds. All of these cruisers you see lined up in formation here are here to send off Officer Santander with honor to his final resting place. Live in Rockwall, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. Hi, Jen, thanks. And our traffic expert, Madison Sawyer, continues our live team coverage this morning. She joins us now in the studio with all you need to know about the procession route, Madison. Yeah, and I want to show you some tech stop footage of the procession leading to Lake Point Church to give you an idea of what's going to happen around 1 o'clock today once the uh, funeral service is over. You can see they basically shut down the freeway in one direction in order to give the complete honor to Officer Santander. But again, that whole lane of travel. Going to be completely closed, and that's exactly what we'll see this afternoon around one o'clock once the funeral service is over. So the path that they will take is over Lake Ray Hubbard from the Rockwall area. They'll take 30 westbound. They'll connect to the Bush Turnpike. The Bush Turnpike will take them all the way through the Garland area and towards North Dallas and Richardson. From there, they'll head south on Central Expressway through Plano into Richardson and into North Dallas, and then they'll hop on 635 LBJ heading east for just one exit until they get to Greenville Avenue, which then they will. Will end at Ruslan Cemetery, which is again just north of 635 off of Greenville Avenue. But Russ and Karen, obviously, lots of people expected to make the processional route, so expect big delays. All right, Madison, thank you very much. As for the two other victims wounded in last week's shooting at that Home Depot, at last check, Dallas Police Officer Crystal Almeida and the store security officer Scott Painter remain in critical condition. And the suspect, 29 year old Armando Juarez, is jailed in Dallas on a more than $4 million bond. He faces multiple charges, including capital murder. And we invite you to stay with CBS DFW on air and online for continuing coverage. We are streaming Officer Santander's public funeral service on our website, cbsdfw.com, and we'll have much more on this story in our later newscast.